In our ongoing quest to return to older guides and modded characters, like Wart the Shambling Fungus here, I have been led back to one of my personal favorites, Wuzzy. That's right, Mother Buzzers, the Bee Master is back to pollinate our eyeballs once more, and many thanks to all those who actually informed me of Wuzzy's reworking. This video is for you. But from new stats, perks, mechanics, and more, perhaps today is really for Renetta, as they have truly created something special here. I really enjoy Wuzzy, and I hope you understand why by the end. Let's buzz to it. And first up, the stats. While things have been adjusted, there's not too much new here with Wuzzy resting at 150 hunger, 100 sanity, and 175 health respectively. However, this is a reminder that we will be dealing with something else entirely today. A bee pool. Wuzzy begins with a pool of six bees, of which will grow to double that in time, but more on that later. For now, know that Wuzzy pulls from this pool of bees while in combat via a 70% chance to summon one on every attack. And good thing too, as Wuzzy themselves deals 25% less damage than other survivors, so these Metapist soldiers here can be quite helpful, even if they only deal 7 damage each and have but 100 health. Note though, that this bee pool will regenerate over time, however, the speed at which it does so will depend on Wuzzy's hunger. It's nothing too drastic, and as the pool deepens, it actually begins to matter less and less, but it's still worthy to understand at the end of the day. Oh, and yes, summon bees will eventually return to Wuzzy to refill the pool instantly, so don't worry there. Again, more details later. As Wuzzy is more than just a bee master, folks, they are a bee themselves. This means that Wuzzy will not and cannot anger and or disturb killer bees, pissed off spring bees, or even the bees within bee boxes themselves when harvesting honey. Sweet stuff. Wuzzy can also collect pollen from any flower in the game that has a yellow flashing light under itself, and said pollen will regenerate every two days within the game. Well, outside of winter that is. For you see, all flowers lose their pollen immediately come the fallen of the white stuff, however wait it out until spring, and suddenly you will have a 50% chance to collect two pollen per flower instead. Very, very nice. Even if pollen itself ain't very good for you. That said, eat 10 of the stuff, and Wuzzy themselves will produce a glob of honey right from within their inventory. So even more sweet stuff. But that's not all, folks. As y'all likely could have guessed, Wuzzy here will enjoy honey-related foods more than most, and will receive hunger bonuses when eating such meals. But give them a honey ham, and they'll enjoy it even more, as it's Wuzzy's favorite. Make notes. But before we get to the true nitty-gritty of Wuzzy here, a couple last notes. When it's springtime, Wuzzy will benefit from an increase to their speed over other survivors, which is always a plus, of course. However, you will first have to slog to get there, as the exact opposite is true come winter, when Wuzzy is far, far slower than your average character. So good luck. And finally, all is actually not lost, as Wussy has a built-in resistance to the cold, and it only gets better the more bees you eventually add into your pool. And yes, it's even better than what you already see happening right here. But how do we deepen our bee pools, and the heck is this thing Wussy spawned with, Beard? Well, that is the Metapis Cocoon, which is also craftable if needed, however you will only ever be able to use one per Wuzzy per world, mind you. As placing the Cocoon will spawn in a Metapis Mother Hive, as you can see, and it's going to act as the foundation for literally everything to come. 
including a lovely additional positive sanity aura when Wuzzy is nearby to one. But a Mother Hive's main mechanic is to actually spawn Metapis worker bees here, and as their name would suggest, they are merely cooler looking normal bees essentially. But these workers will not fight a single thing no matter what, and will only pollinate flowers in order to store pollen in the hive itself for later use by us or the actual hive itself. As yes, as each minute passes, a mother hive will use 5 to 7 pollen within itself to produce up to 3 honey automatically. And this will go on forever. Oh, and both honey and pollen will never spoil in a mother hive too, by the way. But mother hives will also send out soldiers to protect both itself and Wuzzy if hostiles are nearby, and hives can be upgraded too. At first, it will require three honeycombs to do so, which will result in worker bees being more efficient and numerous, while also buffing soldier bees with a 25% damage reduction. Not bad. But use three royal jellies to upgrade a hive to level 3 now, and workers will be even better, and soldiers will now heal themselves, other bees, and wuzzy through combat. So, so cool. Oh, and each Mother Hive level will increase your personal bee pool by one too, so make note. But now comes the fun stuff. The Child Hives. Wuzzy can craft a barracks via a crap ton of honey and killer bees specifically, and what this does is increase the Mother Hive's bee pool by four, Wuzzy's by one, and makes the revive timer of bees within the Mother Hive much, much faster. It's very basic, but it's very handy especially early on. And make note, all hives must be placed near a mother hive, so choose your location wisely. But next comes the Metapis Moon Guard Hive here, accessible initially via the Celestial Orb specifically, mind you, and at the cost of all that nonsense before you, you will now be able to potentially summon a Moon Guard Bee in combat or from the mother hive. Moon Guards draw aggro, have 250 health, gain a 50% damage absorption mechanic come a level 2 Mother Hive, and can even slow down the movement and attack speeds of whatever hits it if the Mother Hive is level 3. Oh, and it will eventually cause enough cold damage to freeze things too on top of it all. Cool stuff. The Metapis Mutant Hive is next, and you will need to be at a Celestial Altar in order the first prototype one via Moon Moth Wings, Honeycombs, and some Moon Glass. But once you do and place it near the Mother Hive, you will have a bee that is very quick, can do a poison attack if the Mother Hive is at level 2, which will do damage over time, and will deal more damage to the backs of enemies come Mother Hive level 3. So they're assassin bees, practically. Another new hive is the Metapis Shadow one here, requiring an ancient pseudoscience station, nightmare fuel, dual sight, and more to create. And this thing will spawn shadow bees that can summon spikes to deal area of effect damage, teleport away from danger if struck, but only if the mother hive is level 2, mind you, and will spawn another spike if said hive is level 3. It's pretty neat. And finally, pretty much the most obscure hive out there. Well, at least when it comes to actually initially crafting it, that is. The Metapis Ranger Hive Blueprint can only come from a level 6 friendly pearl, as you can see, and will also cause vault goat horns and cookie cutter shells once you can make it. But place it down and enjoy the potential for ranger bees that can deal electric damage and occasionally attack twice in quick succession. That's very good. But before we wrap up here with Wuzzy specific gear, there is actually one final hive related craft the Metapis Teleportal. This thing instantly teleports up to 12 bees from the mother hive to wherever you placed it to help you in combat. And I'm pretty sure that's all you need to know, really. That, and the fact that you will need a second mother hive in the caves to make everything you have seen here today actually work there, too. 
have fun. But to finish up, the honey suit and mace. The honey suit is available immediately and is an armor piece that will grant 55 to 70% protection depending on its spoilage, but is indestructible otherwise, as you can see. Kinda like a hand bat. The thing also sets off a health regeneration effect when you get hit, however it only restores health for 3 measly seconds. It will add a B to Wuzzy's B pool though, and that's pretty cool but it can also be placed within a mother hive to not only stop its boilage, but to refuel the thing. So yeah, it's pretty good. And finally, Melissa. You guys get the reference, because I don't. Still, Melissa here will deal 30 damage in the hands of Wuzzy while boosting the damage of any bee summoned by Wuzzy with Melissa in hand. So there you go, buzz off pests. And there you have it, everyone. Wuzzy the Buzzy reworked. Mine is their voice and ghost at the end of the day, because Beardo might have forgotten them. But honestly, this revisit only made me like the character even more. So many thanks to Renetta once again for all of their hard work. Buzz, buzz, mother buzzers. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wished to all. Please let me know who and what else needs a revisit, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.